All right, guys, how's it going? It's me, Dave, back with another Blink tutorial. And I'm going to show you how to use Blink on your phone and your Raspberry Pi to control an 8 port relay. Now, in one of my other videos previous to this, um, there is the preparing Raspberry Pi for Blink and wiring Pi. You're going to want to follow those instructions first uh, to get the Pi up to the point at which it's ready to be running and it's on uh, and the blink application is running. Once that's done um, and you've run the blink application with the token that comes with the application that you've created then you'll be able to jump right into the application on your phone and connect the uh, the GPIOs up to um, the relay and get them controlled. Now my phone is not going to record very easily on this but what I have here, let me see if I can get it to the right angle. Maybe you can see it. There? No. Okay. So there's eight buttons on here that I've added. Um, that's just by pulling over the slider, grabbing button, hitting button, and bringing a new one on. When you when you select the button, you can give it a name, um, a value, a high or low, or if you want it to be uh, a specific pin, and then you can change it to be a push or a switch. So we push it on or turn it on and off. I, I changed the switch for this example. Um, what you're going to end up doing is you, you choose for the pin, you choose the GPIO that you're going to control. Now let me just get rid of this extra button I have here. So because I have eight of them, um, I'm going to put a, a picture of the pin out for my Raspberry Pi. This is going to differ depending on which one you're using. I'm using the, the old model B, so if you have a 2 or a 3, whatever, just look up a, a wearing or a, a GPIO pin out for it. Um, I have these set up with female to female jumper cables. Uh, on the relay, uh, the far side over here, let me see if I can tilt this the right way. The far side right here is going to be ground, that is ground, and then way over here on the other opposite side is going to be the power, it's going to be VCC. Everything in between is the control for each of the individual relays. Um, then on the actual Pi, I just connect obviously ground to ground, VCC to 5 volt on the pinout, and then I start to use the uh, the GPIOs that are available. I used a list here. I used 14, 15, 23, 24, 25, 8, 4, and 17. Um, and I, like I said, when you look at a pinout, you'll understand what I'm connecting to. We connect from this side over to here, um, and you should be good. Now, once you're in the application and you've added your button, you've chosen the pin, like for instance, this is GPIO 14. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to run the application. Uh, the label goes away. The label normally says the GPIO that you're connected to. It now says on uh, or off, whatever uh, state it's in. When you push the button, you can see the state changes and the this relay turned on. So what it's doing is that was uh, GPIO 14. It's Blink is connecting to my Raspberry Pi through the network, telling GPIO 14 to change state, which then changes the state on side of the relay. Now um, you can see this and I think you can see all the lights here. As I press these buttons, they all light up. And I can light up all I can do all eight of them. I can turn them all off, whatever. In any order I want. Now if I were to change this, so I'll change this far one right here from a switch to a push. Let me run it again. So that one is on off. This is a push. I have to hold it to keep it on. We were to change the state. So I push it down, hold it on, let it go, change the state, that kind of thing. That's what it means between switch and push. I tend to use the on-off switch just because it makes a little bit more sense. So um, not incredibly difficult. You really don't need to know any programming because Blink and Wiring Pi take control of the Pi and tell it to control the relay and connect the Blink the way it's supposed to. You just have to tie it together with the token that's given to you for your application side of Blink, which if you're looking at this now, you're you're a little bit more advanced and you know what I'm talking about when I say the token. Add your buttons, attach them to the GPIOs um, that you've plugged into from the relay to the Pi, run the application, and you should be able to change the state of your relay.
Now, the reason for using this type of relay would be, say, you have um, a huge bank of lights for, like, Christmas lights or something, uh, or, like, a studio where you need to be able to remotely turn them on and off whenever you, you can get a hold of them. So, there you go. Literally no programming language needed. Very simple to set up. Uh, like I said, uh, check out my other video for preparing the Raspberry Pi and Blink for wiring Pi so that you know what to do to get the Pi in the state that it needs to to have it ready. And then it's just a matter of connecting it to your um, to your relay properly and the GPIO pins on the Pi properly and then making your application and you're ready to go. Hopefully this was helpful to you. Leave some comments in the comment section. Anything I can help with and I can answer, I will answer. Um, and obviously, like always guys, good luck and have fun.